Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA Tech Tip on SVOCs. You may be familiar with volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, which are chemicals found in the air. Common sources of VOCs include building materials, cleaners, solvents, and personal care products. If those are VOCs, what are SVOCs? The S stands for semi. When chemicals are semi-volatile, they're not as readily airborne and are more likely to be found in a condensed state on a surface. Are SVOCs common indoors? Most definitely. You might find SVOCs indoors related to plasticizers, pesticides, flame retardants, cooking, and smoking to name a few. In the last few years, I've seen a lot of press related to the risks of flame retardants in furniture and plasticizers in toys and baby bottles. The health effects of SVOCs are wide-ranging depending on the chemical makeup. Some SVOCs are neurotoxins, others are endocrine disruptors, others carcinogens, and the list goes on. Can you test for SVOCs? Yes, but the classes of chemicals are so unique that a whole battery of tests would be needed. One test for polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, another test for certain plasticizers, another for one class of pesticides, another for a different class of pesticides, and so on. To make matters more complex, samples can be collected from the air in a vapor state, from the air condensed on particles, or samples of settled dust on surfaces, which seems to be the preferred method in the scientific literature. So what we can conclude in this video is that SVOCs are number one, common, number two, deleterious to health, and number three, difficult or complex to sample. If you'd like to learn more about contaminants in the indoor environment, consider taking a class in the IAQA University. Visit the IAQA for more information.